Welcome back to Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr. Sullivan. This is part four in a series of videos on using the normal distribution, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to find an unknown standard deviation. So, question here the weights of bags of sweets are normally distributed with a mean of 210 and a standard deviation sigma, so unknown. Um, so, I've written that the W follows a normal distribution, mean 210 standard deviation, sigma, so variance, sigma squared. Uh, and the question says, if 4% of packets of sweets have a mass greater than 224 grams, find the value of sigma. Uh, so I've drawn out the normal distribution curve, I've popped the middle line in, 210 for the mean, um, and what I'm being told in the question here is that the probability of being greater than 224 is 4%. So I'll put a line here at 224, and shade in this area here. I know that the area of this bit is 0.04. Now previously when we knew the area we could use the inverse normal function. The problem with that now is that we don't know what the standard deviation is. So we can't tell the calculator the standard deviation. But we do know the value. So this is a situation where we have to go to the standardised normal distribution Z, which I talked about in the first video. So, what I'm going to do, underneath this first normal distribution, I'm going to draw another normal distribution. But this one is going to be Z following the normal 0, 1. So if I put the middle line in here, ideally it would have lined up, but never mind. Mean of 0. Now, if I draw a line in here and label it as Z, and I say that this area here to the right of Z is 0 0.04, I can find a value of Z, which I can then use to find sigma for the first standard deviation, um, because the probabilities will be the same for Z being um, how far it is above 0, as 224 is above um, 210. So if I go into the inverse normal function um, on the calculator now, the area that I'm going to have to tell it is 0 0.96, standard deviation 1 and mean 0, um, and the calculator, the inverse normal function of the calculator tells me the z value is 1.75. Now what that means is to have only 4% chance of being above this value, you have to be 1.75 standard deviations above the mean. So what that tells me is that 224 must be 1.75 standard deviations above 210. So now that I've got my z value, what I'm going to use is the standardising formula that we talked about in the first video. z equals x minus mean over standard deviation. I know now that z is 1.75, my x value is 224, my mean is 210, and the standard deviation is unknown. So, if I multiply by the standard deviation, 1.75 times by the standard deviation is equal to 14. Now just before I solve it, I'm just going to pause there a minute because I said that it's 1.75 standard deviations above the mean. It's a distance of 14 above the mean, so that gap of 14 must be 1.75 standard deviations because all normal distributions are attributed the same way in terms of where their standard deviations plan out. Um, so if I solve that, you get your standard deviation to be 8. So key point there, if you don't know the standard deviation or you don't know the mean, but you know a value and you know a probability, you can use the standardised normal distribution to get a z value, which you can then solve to find out your unknown mean or your unknown standard deviation. Join me in the next video where we don't know the mean and we don't know the standard deviation. I'll see you then.